Hi, welcome to another video. Um, this one's a video that I don't normally do, um, but I've been sent a message to create a video, so I'm creating a video on this issue. Um, last week I was sent a message from somebody who's checked out some of my videos, um, help videos to do with Band Lab for Education, and they were asking about um, help with automation. They were researching this and trying to find some answers, but they couldn't find any. So um, I went and checked out their question researched it a bit to do with the effects automation uh, which you can do but they were wanting to copy and paste these effects and they're having issues with that and nobody's really done anything about this so I went and checked out their issue um, found out they were using the um, pitch shifter um, that effect happens to be over in the um, bandlab.com version of the website so I went over there and checked that out um, and found out, yes, I found out that they had the same issue. Um, and I went and checked out in the Band Lab for Education website, which is the one I generally use most of the time. And I found the issues there as well. So I shot off an email to um, Band Lab support, letting them know about this issue. And because I thought, let's back up this person had the issue and help them out. And they've sent me back a message saying to create a video about it. So here we are, creating a video. So let's get into the mixer, and I've got a few examples to show you what automation is very quickly, and what does work, and what isn't working with some examples of that. So here we go. Okay, so we're over here in the mixer, and I've got a few tracks here with some... Um, audio sounds that I've just put together and I've put some basic um, automation on some of these things. So let's hear what, we've, what I've done. I'll show you the automation and then I'll have a go at copying and pasting and show you what does work and what doesn't work. So here's a little example I've got here. Okay, so I've got a couple of tracks with some um, automation happening on some of the settings. So let's show you a few of these things and I'll show you what will copy and paste and what won't. Let's come down to this um, loop that I've got down here. So I'm going to click the automation um, show and hide button. And here you can see I've played around with the volume on this track. I've also played around with pan here. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to volume and I'm going to select these two. Um, so I'm holding down shift and clicking those and then I'll use my shortcut command to copy that. Move my cursor to where I want it to paste and it gives me this message to paste automation. So I want this to happen on this occasion. So I'm going to click paste and let's check to see what's actually copied and pasted. So I'm going to bring up the grid. So the volumes have been copied and the pan's been copied over. Okay, so that's working as it should, so I'm expecting that to happen. Now let's go up to this little bit of audio up here. I've put some pan in there, and this time I'll show you I've got some effects. So I've got some effects here, and I played around with the feedback in the delay. So I've got this delay happening here. Okay, so let's try and copy back that. So I can't select this. So I've got to hide that, select the region that I want to copy, and let's paste that over here. Yes, I want to copy all the automation, paste the automation. So now, let's view that. So, the feedback in the delay thing has not copied. Let's go back to the pan. The pan has copied that I had in there. So I go back again. The feedback that I tried automating to create that delay effect um, hasn't copied over there. Okay, not sure why. So that was the delay one. Let's come down to this other example. So I'm just going to solo this one. So here I've got like a, oh, just like a, a percussion sound. So let's just hear that one.
Okay, so you might be able to hear I've got a bit of a reverb effect. So let's show you what that looks like. So here we go. So at the beginning of that, it was very little reverb. Then it went along, had a very long reverb sound on there, brought it back, had next and low reverb, and then it happened. So let's try and copy and paste that segment. So let's highlight that region. Copy, move somewhere further along, paste it in. It hasn't given me any message whatsoever that I wanted to copy the automation. Okay, and it hasn't done so. So hopefully BandLab can have a little bit of a look into this one um, and work out why is the automation not happening in these things. Um, so it'd be really, really cool if you could update that. Um, it'd be also cool if I can just sneak it in there to have some of the other effects that are in the BandLab.com um, website been brought over into this BandLab for Education. Um, I'd love to play around with the pitch shift um, that the um, person was asking about that they were trying to use over in the bandlab.com over here in the education as well as some of the other features so um, hint hint wink wink bandlab it'd be awesome to have this updated to match the bandlab.com with some of those features anyway hopefully that's helping um, get this sorted out um, if you have any other needs or help with anything to do with bandlab for education or some issues to do with bandlab.com feel free to jot me jot, jot a message into the comments below um, and I'll do my best to help out. Um, at the end of the day, the BandLab support is fantastic. They tend to take um, a couple of business days to get back to you, depending on where your region is in the world, um, but they're also awesome, but I'm also happy to help out. Catch you later and um, keep creating some music.